Hello and welcome back. So guys in this video we are going to talk about this JSX. Any JS programmer who understands the JavaScript knows that JavaScript doesn't understand the HTML. HTML considered the strings in the JavaScript. But how the HTML, uh, the JavaScript can understand if I write something like h1. Now, do you know that if it is the heading, okay, if it would be the plain HTML, this should be the heading. But here in the React, how it can be the heading? They should be plain because the JavaScript doesn't understand the HTML tags or the attribute. So here we are in the browser and we are getting some other problem. And I think uh, we made some mistake. Uh, let me double check that. Okay, one more limitation and that limitation is kind of cool. I need to copy or I need to just make another div and this div should be the main div. In the JSX you need to put everything inside the main div. Okay, cool. No, there is no complication. Everything is fine. I'm going back to the browser. Now here we can see that this is the JSX and okay this was a div and this is the heading. If I open the inspect element and I'm gonna see that or I can also open the view source by control U and here is the view source you can see that okay there are some text which which is coming from the nx.html file and here you need to enable javascript to run this app okay and there is some other text but what is coming from the other page okay this root is coming from the other page because it's the javascript we need to go here to see the texting in the inspect element so this is a div main div this is a div this is the h1 we must need to add this div a main div and everything of the html actually the jsx should be inside this main div or the main tag anyway so now you can see that it is understanding the js is understanding this heading the h1 tag or any other tag you would add this is why because it understands the jsx and this is the jsx okay what if you do not write this in this way then what you would be able to do i'm going to show you the other part if you do not choose to go the jsx you can this is not necessary for you to use the jsx you can go with the plain html way and in case if you go with that way what you need to do is something different i'm just making it silent everything of it I'm making it silent and here I'm making another return okay now because this is not the JSX so it doesn't need the brackets the parentheses I'm directly writing it in the HTML way so first of all I need to actually write the react dot create element now this is coming from the react application absolutely so the react and create element and here i'm making the parentheses and inside the parentheses first of all i'm telling what the tag name should be it should be h1 and here i'm adding a comma and here the content for example heading saving it now going to the browser back i need to add some attribute too i'm going back there for example, I'm adding here, this is a way to add the attribute and here I'm adding the value for the attribute, for example, title and then the value of this attribute. Anyway, if you even do not put the title, you just add the attribute sign and now you're going to see the result. So I'm going to the browser back and here is the result. You can see that the heading is now visible. If you refresh the page, you would see that very well. I'm refreshing that page, but I'm not going to get anything from here. So I'm deleting. I'm canceling that and here you can see that this is here the h1 and heading so now I'm going back to the code panel so if we choose not to go with the uh, JSX this is the way to create the elements in the react this is a way to do templating because in the JS we just cannot write the HTML and if we use the HTML with the string so it would be 
it would not be the coding it would be something like you know just placing some rendered text anyway um, to add the variable uh, the attribute there is a way I'm writing title and then here I'm adding some data this is the heading okay now once you write it like that it's gonna be processed and you would be able to see that in the browser screen so I'm going there here you can see that I didn't even refresh the page but you can see that in a title here heading and once I hover the mouse over there you can see that this is the heading okay I did a mistake I thought I changed that I think I didn't save the changing okay the change is here anyway okay uh, this is the heading and everything is actually fine we've got it the title here so this is the way to write the content write the HTML in the react JS file the component file if you choose not to go with the JSX but if you want to make something similar like that with the JS there is a way all you need is just to write it in this unique way return and here the parentheses and I'm going here inside and first of all the div and then inside the div I'm gonna write the h1 the plane just like we do things in the HTML it's a lot look like the HTML title and you know we're adding the double quotes exactly like we do in the HTML and here this is the heading and here we're writing heading but I'm gonna make a little change so we would not be confused if we're getting some flashbacks of this one so I'm writing here a heading and uh, like that JSX style or let's type method save now I'm going back to the browser here you are able to see that here it is if you just open this one you would be able to see the div and then here h1 and this is the heading heading jsx method so now I think this way is best and easy so uh, we should go with the jsx method for the further now in the next lecture we're gonna talk some more about the jsx I was just comparing that why to choose the jsx and why not so I guess now we just understood how to do this and why to do this so in the next video we're gonna talk a lot more till then stay tuned